Hi guys, I wanted to make a tutorial on this look right here. I posted this look on my Instagram and like two of you asked for a tutorial. So this look is for you too. Thank you. It's a really easy, like natural face that you can do when you're in a hurry, you know? Okay, cool. I'll shut up and let's get to the tutorial. I'm gonna start off by priming my skin. So I'm using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Just gonna spray this all over. Hold on, point at me. I like this because it gives a deep hydration to my skin. Well, I feel like it gives a deep hydration to my skin. It doesn't really like make my pores small or anything, but it feels good. For a foundation, I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is in number Y245. I actually think this is too dark for me. I think I grabbed the wrong one. I put it on the back of my palette. And as some of you know, I like to mix in my Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Coverage Foundation. So this will give me a full, full coverage. And the HD gives me like a light to medium coverage. I'm almost out. I'm going to take my Hourglass Foundation Brush. And then I start off with the Makeup Forever product. I kind of go in between this, the Makeup Forever HD foundation and the um, Urban Decay Naked Skin. They both give a, like a light to medium. You can build to a fuller coverage, but more of like a light to medium type of coverage and it gives you a nice skin-like finish. It's just an all around nice foundation. And then as some of you may know, I have the uh, hyperpigmentation right here. So that's when I come in with the Estee Lauder Maximum Coverage Foundation and I just tap this on over that and build a fuller coverage. This is a new product to me. Well, actually, if you watched my vlog, I mentioned it in my vlog. It's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette. I have the shade Medium Dark Shift. I grabbed the wrong one. This is a shade medium. I grabbed the wrong one. I'm gonna make it work. So it's a, it's a cool concept. You get the powders on one side for contour, highlight, all that jazz, and then you get the creams on the other. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this and this and create a corrector color. I'm gonna put this right into my tear duct and following the dark shadow I have. I can't believe I grabbed the wrong one. What an idiot. So this peachy tone will counteract the darkness I have right in here. Then I'm gonna take my sponge and just lightly tap and blend that out. Okay, so the first time I use this product, the creams are super waxy and I used it with a sponge and it wasn't working for me. So I thought maybe with a synthetic brush, it would be a little bit better. And it is working better, but I'm not sure. I don't know how I feel about this. Now let's do, I'm gonna mix this yellow shade with the lighter shade and place this over the corrector as my concealer. So I'm just putting it right under my eyes, sides of my nose, and then just gonna blend it out with my sponge. It just looks so cakey under my eyes. Joe, uh, will you zoom in on my under eyes? I want them to see how cakey it is. Okay, I know this is the wrong palette technically, but this is what happened last time with the same palette, just the lighter shades. It gets like, look at how cakey and how much texture there is. Like my skin isn't perfect, I'm aware, but normally I could get my under eye to look pretty smooth. So this is my this is my problem with this palette. I can't get it to look smooth. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I'm gonna spray my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and hope to hydrate it so I can kind of get it moving and blending again. Okay, you can zoom out. Ooh, I pretty much just tapped my foundation on over the concealer. Just kind of blend it into the skin as much as possible. I'm now just going to set with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I'm gonna use my Kat Von D number 25 brush. So I'm setting under the eyes, around the nose, on my chin, around my mouth, on my forehead, and down my nose. 
So anywhere that I really get shiny, and also I don't want my foundation or concealer to crease. I'm also gonna bring the translucent powder onto my lid. I'm gonna take my Benefit Brow Zings, and this is a number two, and I'm using my Benefit Angled Brow Brush. I'm gonna start with a darker, waxier shade and mainly focus on the outer part of my brow, so from the arch outwards. And I just kinda like feather it through there. Now, I was going to use the Naked Skin Shape Shifter powders to do my contour, but I think I'm just gonna X-nay on the palette because it's the wrong shade and that's my fault, so I'll have to redo a tutorial using the lighter shade. And I'm just gonna grab my Benefit Hula Light Bronzer and a angled blush brush, the struggle. So I'm putting this along my jawline in the hollow of my cheek and then along my forehead. I'm gonna use uh, my Sephora Perfection Mist Airbrush Blush, and this is in the shade Such a Peach. So if you remember a long time ago, I was like using this nonstop. We've been taking a break, but we're back on. I'm gonna spray my angled blush brush, and then just tap it right on, right in here and then right along my hairline and then my chin. Boom. I like these, they're waterproof, they're beautiful. They're kind of intimidating, but they look nice. Now this is a product that I've really, really been liking from Urban Decay. It's the Illuminizer, is what it's called. It's Translucent Pressed Beauty Powder. It is just like a translucent powder, but it gives you a really pretty glow, which is very fresh and luminous. So I'm taking my Sephora Pro Contour Brush, and I'm just gonna put this all over my face, and it will give me a really pretty luminous finish, is really all, all I can say. This product I have been bathing myself in, it's so, pretty and it just makes your skin have a really nice glow. I really like Natasha Denona Glow Powder, but this one I feel like is just a little, I don't know, like finer to where you could put it all over and it's not too much. I'm not sure. I'll have to swatch and do a comparison so you can see the difference. I'm gonna go back to my Hoola Light Bronzer, a fluffier blending brush. I'm just gonna place this right on the edge of my lid and then come right into the crease. This is just gonna define our shape a little bit, but still go for like that soft look. I don't really care too much about it being perfect, just a crease color. I'm gonna come along my lower lash line. I need a new head. I put mascara on my top and bottom lashes. I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Arben Black Mascara. In all honesty, I like what this mascara does to my lashes, but I don't like it throughout the day. It always transfers on me down here. I even got the waterproof, which is like, it doesn't work for me. But I have it, I opened it, and I'm gonna use it. Now I'm gonna put on lip liner. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Iconic Nude. So I just line my lips, and then I color it all in. And that's it. That is my super natch face. It's easy. I do it almost every day when I have to be somewhere and I really don't wanna do my face. This is what I do. It's easy. Yeah, let me know what you think if you try this look. Have a good day today, make good choices. I'll see you guys later. Bye.